Google's new Nano Banana Image Generator allows you to add objects, remove objects, change outfits, and add locations to any video just by typing in a prompt. But first, we need an original video that you want to make some changes to, and luckily, you don't even need to film one. I've just been working on a training video using my personal AI avatar from Synthesia, which looks and sounds exactly like me. But I want to take my video to the next level by changing the outfit of my avatar and changing the background location to put it more into context. So my final video is going to look something like this. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be explaining the health and safety guidelines for when you're on site. So let's get started. To make my avatar video, I'll open up the Synthesia dashboard and go to the avatar menu down in the bottom left. And right away, you can see my AI clone right there. And if you want to learn how to make your own AI avatar, I've left a link in the description of this video, along with all of the other tools that I use throughout this process. Now, once I've selected my avatar and opened up the Synthesia editor, all I need to do is paste my script for what I want my avatar to say down at the bottom in the box right here. Then I'll just hit generate, then generate again. And once it's rendered, I have a simple talking head video that I didn't even need to film. So I'll download this video as an MP4 and open it up on my computer. And next, I'm just gonna take a screenshot of the first frame like this. And now I can use Nano Banana to make some changes to it. Like I said before, I've also left a link to this in the description. And once I'm there, all I need to do is upload my screenshot and type in whatever changes I want to see. So I'll start with add a yellow hard hat and a high viz jacket. I'll hit enter. And as you can see, Nano Banana makes that change in just a few seconds. It's super fast. I also want to change the location of my video. So I'll ask it to change the location to a busy construction site. And there you have it. And I can keep making as many changes as I like without affecting the central image of me in the middle of the frame. But now I want to turn this still image into a video. To do that, I'm gonna use Runway. And once I'm in the dashboard there, I'll go to the search bar at the top and search for Act 2. And this tool allows you to upload an original video as a driving performance. So for that, I'm gonna use my avatar video but I also get to overlay that performance with a character. So for that, I'm gonna choose my Nano Banana edited image. Now, there is sometimes a bit of trial and error with these tools, and it did take me a few times to get the perfect video. And I found that turning facial expressions down to one helped a lot with the final product. But there's also an even easier way to generate your own avatar in multiple different settings. Back in Synthesia, you can use the selfie avatar feature, which lets you upload five or more pictures of yourself, and it generates your personal avatar in multiple different scenarios. And the cool thing about this tool is that you can also generate new scenes based on your text prompt and as you can see it generates a new scenario in just a few seconds so just like before I can either type in some text or upload an audio file and suddenly I'm speaking in front of the pyramids and to take my videos to the next level I like to make them interactive with clickable options on the screen so if you want to learn how to do that in just a few steps you should watch this video next 